bus started from Pune towards Mumbai. There is one bus, and this is Pune and Mumbai is there. A bus started from Pune towards Mumbai. Okay, bus is going. It crosses a rickshaw going in the same direction at 10 a.m. Okay, maybe the rickshaw will be here at this point. If the rickshaw is going on towards the Mumbai. The bus crosses that rickshaw going in uh, the same direction at 10 a.m. At 10 a.m. The bus reach Mumbai at 12:30 p.m. The bus reach Mumbai at 12:30 p.m. And after waiting there for one hour, after waiting there for one hour means up to 1:30, it started its return journey. The bus again started its return journey, return journey at 1:30 p.m. And met the same rickshaw at 2 p.m. The rickshaw is going towards the Mumbai. And bus made the rickshaw at the 10 a.m. But bus speed is obviously the bus speed is more. That's why the bus first reached at the 12:30. And after waiting there for the one hour, the bus started its return journey. And in some between this route, uh, the bus made the same rickshaw at 2 p.m. Okay, maybe the rickshaw is going still toward Mumbai. And bus is started its return journey. And it met the rickshaw at 2 p.m. Okay, at 2 p.m. Find at what time the rickshaw will reach Mumbai. We have to calculate the time when the rickshaw will reach the Mumbai. So let's see. Here the bus reached Mumbai at 12:30, and after waiting there for the one hour, it started its return journey. Okay, this point I will say this point as a Y point. So let's see. At 1:30 the bus started its return journey. And at 2 p.m. the bus reached that point where the rickshaw is going towards Mumbai. Okay. From this Mumbai to point Y, it needs 30 minutes. Okay. 30 minutes bus needed to go from the Mumbai towards this point where the rickshaw is going on still to Mumbai. Okay. So obviously, while going towards Mumbai, the bus will be at this point, will be at 12 p.m. the bus will be at the Y point while going towards Mumbai, right? Because it takes the 30 minutes because that's why the 12 30 minus 30 at 12 p.m. the bus will be at the Y point so that after 30 points it would have reached the Mumbai at 12 30. After waiting there for the one one hour means 1 30 it started its return journey and again made the same rickshaw which was going in the same direction towards Mumbai at 2 p.m. Okay, so let's see. From this point X to point Y, the bus needed 10 to 12, 2 hours the bus needed, okay? To go from X to Y, the bus needed 2 hours. Now obviously, the rickshaw at 10 am, the rickshaw was here and at 2 pm, the rickshaw is here, means the rickshaw needed 4 hours. From X to Y, to reach from the X to Y, the rickshaw needed 4 hours. Which we can say that if the bus needs one hour, then the ratio will need two hours. Two ones are two twos are. So the ratio is one is to two. Means if bus needs one hour, then the ratio will need two hours. This is the time. Similarly, if the bus needs the 30 minutes from the Mumbai to point Y, from Bombay to Y, if the bus needs 30 minutes and the ratio is 1 is to 2 means the rickshaw will be needed the 60 minutes right because the ratio of the time of the bus to rickshaw is 1 is to 2 that's why if the bus needs 30 minutes then the rickshaw will need double of it 60 minutes so if the rickshaw at point y it is at point y at 2 pm then after and 1 hour after this 60 minutes it will reach to the Mumbai so 3 pm the rickshaw will reach to Mumbai.